Good morning. So do you have the same kind of initial fears that a number of my clients initially have when it comes to talk about taking on uh, the next member of the team? Um, the, the thoughts that go through people's heads are, gosh, you know, it's going to cost a lot of money. The, the figure that people have got in their minds is the salary plus all of the additional costs associated with the person. So before you even get someone through the door, the thought is around just how much the annual cost of an employee would be. And it sometimes puts people off from actually making a decision, which is ultimately going to, it should be the right decision for the business. So the, the way I like to try to help people frame things in their mind is, first of all, to view every employee is a profit center. So how do we make sure that people coming into the business are actually contributing and being of value to the business um, as quickly as possible? So here's the way that I try to help people break things down. If people aren't contributing within a three month period, then we need to exit that relationship. Let me help you understand what I mean. This is not in a, a slash and burn kind of way and being brutal. This is about being a genuinely caring and supportive um, business owner, just looking to get the, the, the most out of team members uh, such that they can contribute well. So what I mean by that is, Assuming, and it's a big assumption, assuming that we've got a good recruitment process that has got the right person to arrive on our doorstep for day one of, of working in the business, the conversation has to be done immediately and very clearly that sets expectations. So how do we how do we welcome someone? We welcome them by saying, look, fantastic that you're in the team. Uh, you've been brought in because these are the skill sets that we see you having and they're exactly the skill sets that we are needing uh, this, this, uh, for this role. You also have uh, what we think is a really good fit from a values perspective with this company. We think you're going to get on really well in the company and with all of the individuals in the team. So you know, this is going to hopefully be a really good relationship for us all. But we have expectations, of course, of the role. And we want to be very clear with what those expectations are with you. And, that, and again, we would lay out, look, this is where we would expect you to be after month one, month two, and then month three. Now, Having set those expectations with uh, the new recruit, then clearly we're saying along the way there's going to be plenty of opportunity for us to have uh, to, to communicate openly and make sure that you're on track. So at the end of every week, you know, you'll sit down with uh, you know your department head or your supervisor and you'll review performance, being able to iron out any niggles that there may be or anything you're not quite sure about will get will give you that opportunity. At the end of the month, then we'll meet with the business owner in this instance, uh, and, and again reviewing performance from uh, how you're doing on the job and also how are you fitting into the business. Uh, if at the point in time we get to, to where, where things are off track and almost it doesn't feel like there's a, a, a movement forward and it looks like we're, we're not going to be able to hit the expectations in month three, then the question that should get put back, uh, and this is at the start, by the way, of the, of the, on day one, which is what happens, what do you think you would do if after all of the training and support and the, um, the encouragement and the kind of regular communications. If we're not at a point where where kind of you're managing to perform, what would you do if you were if you were me? Now, if you've got a, 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 any kind of person worth their salt, they'll probably look at that and says, okay, if I've genuinely been given the right start, the right opportunities, and the right level of support throughout my time, I'm probably not going to be the right fit for the business. So at that point, you say, yep, yeah, that's probably fair. Let's not get to that point clearly. We want to make sure you have a fantastic time. But we, we did think it's important to set off with very clear expectations uh, laid down right from the start. So look, with that, let's, let's get on and let's have a really good time together uh, for the long term. So that's kind of how we look at it. Now, at that point, we've got a salary, which, you know, is normally kind of tens of thousands of pounds, big number. Actually, we're just looking at the three month number, three month number. And during that period, it has to work. And even then, if it's not working, we've, we've, we've positioned things so well with this employee that really we can we can exit the relationship quite quickly and allow them to go off and be good in another in another location. It might just be that they're not right for our, our type of business. So again, let's not prolong the agony. Let's make kind of quick decisions 
for people um, and, and that's for, for the health of the business and for the health of the, the individual as well. So um, hopefully that helps. You know, view it as a three-month thing, and even it's within that three months that employee has to become a contributing profit centre. Give people the best possible chance they can. Be clear. Be upfront. Give them the support, but don't prolong um, a decision that uh, that you probably know the answer to. Uh, you know, long before you make it. So, hope that's been helpful. It tends to help my clients to get their head around. Okay, well, how? What do I need to do in order to contribute to this person's success? Uh, and you know, from that point of view, a lot of people then go on to make the decision with quite a lot of confidence. So I hope that's helpful for now. Look forward to speaking to you at some point soon. And until then, good luck in business.